right glove of guy, Rich, come to the camp. And Rich, the first thing you can see here is you had a little, real lungy swing. You would uh, say start on the back foot, but then land on the front and now rotate tie. You'd be drifting ahead as you went to swing. And thus, you were really early, too. I don't know if you started your swing, uh, you know, as soon as the ball left the pitcher's hand, but we talked about starting when it uh, got about halfway to you. And the other one we talked about keeping the weight on there and trying to stay back longer. When it came to the swing here, you can watch your lead arm on, on this swing here. It's not bad, but uh, uh, you get it off. But on some of the swings, you were really pinned in with that lead arm, even though you were lungy. Here, that's not too bad of a swing, except for there's just not enough rotation to carry it around. So we started out trying to stay on that back foot and then step and get a good rotation. And you can see you drift ahead a little bit and your back leg comes up. But that's why we do the frisbee throw. Watch how well you throw this. I mean, I think that's a great drill for you. You got your brace leg out. You really spun well. Uh, swing simulator here, getting good extension, getting good rotation. And hand path was good. Of all the guys we had in camp, your hand path was good. So just when you do this drill, you got to make sure you rotate. Right there, you didn't rotate probably quite as well as you could. Watch the rotation here. Pretty good. Um, that, that's a nice job on there. As you're striding, there's a good rotation on there. Make sure that hand doesn't come down. And then on the rope here, you look at this and, and uh, watch how you're just barn dooring around. You're not getting any kind of a lag. And watch your right, your left arm is pinned to your side. So you'd have one good swing and then, you know, one or two good swings and then kind of stumble back. But I think that you walked out with a pretty clear idea of staying on the back foot, getting more rotation, and trying to get extension. See, there you do that very good. You get extended good. But then right here, watch that lead arm. It stays buckled. So you have to rotate. Drive the hands and snap. And I think one thing you'd benefit from would be trying to snap from the very start. Um, so let's take a look at some of these swings here. These are some of the some of the final swings where you had a lot better rotation. Uh, just a little bit early on that. But again, it was such a pertinent problem before that you certainly made a lot of improvement on it. A good snap there. So it seems like it seems like some people really benefit from trying to well, that's just a great swing there, level, nice level swing. Try to snap from the start. We know we have to, but there's that sequence of rotation, stab, and snap. So rather than work so hard on, on working on that sequence, just rotate and drive the hands and try to snap. And the swing really leveled off, and you went from 68 miles an hour average to 74 miles an hour average. And I think if you can get a good lag and, and really drive the hands when you're snapping, Rich, I think that the sky's the limit for you. A lot of fun guy, had a great time with you in camp, and let's look at these final swings. Yeah, wow. Good ball. Good shot. Burned him. Good. Good ball, 64. Nice, Rich. Good. Good ball, just a little early, but nice swing. Early? Good ball, last one.